Mic check, one, two. Mic, are you okay? Sorry, guys. The Sword and Travel host, Newton Nyamosi, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mukopoa. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe, like, and share. Yes, good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. This is Newton Nyamosi. Lakini watu uko inje wananjua kama Enkoba. Sijui hata meaning ya Enkoba ni nini. Oh, najua, lakini ni vile sasa ina philosophical meaning no mana siwezi wambia. So welcome back guys, it's been a minute. Hey, eh, hey, mekua kitambo. Mundi same, my subscribers, my loyal people. Um, I've been good, laba nyinyi. Mniambe mko vipi hapo kwa comment section. So today, I have a, it's not a joke, but it is kind of a joke. Um, and the joke goes, usposhika hii mse, ni kama, never mind, wacha tu nisebe joke yangu. Uh, so are you, a Bible verse, and then you ask why. Because I want to take you out of context. Bear with me. Mutayelewa badaye topic ya leo. So, um, today we are going to talk about the man of God syndrome. Watu wengi wanakuanga na that notion that if whatever the man of God anasema, we do it. We do not uh, see what the Bible says about it. Tunafanya tu because they are men of God and Vile nasema, do not touch the anointed one of God. But these verses are more than often taken out of context. So today, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a less than 10 minute video. So pay attention. Najua attention span yenyu meko kidogo because of TikTok na Reels. Lakini tunenda kuona how this man of God syndrome him affect watu. In that, tumanda ku neglect what is right and cling on to what is false because again the man of god said it ile jokes i do in it yeah taking you out of context may get <laughs> uh, that being said um paul is the best example in it in the bible that paul taught about god before he was changed he was somebody that persecuted the people of christ because he thought that they were doing wrong by worshiping christ but again we find that christ is lord and hence, Paul was transformed uh, in the road down to Damascus. Now, now Paul is preaching Christ and him crucified. Paul 17, uh, Paul 17 guys, <laughs> bear with me again. Uh, see Paul 17, Acts 17 uh, from verse 10. Paul is going to a place known as Berea. And then he goes to preach to these people. Remember Paul wrote 13 epistles in the Bible. So we know that Paul is credible. Paul is a man of God. But he goes down to Berea. Akafika Berea, preach the word. But these people, when they went home, they did confirm what Paul was saying. Aoku shika tu that this is the man of God, hence we do what he's saying. No, these people heard from Paul, went at home, read their scriptures to confirm, confirm that what Paul was saying was right before God. So this and the preceding um, videos, I'm a playlist itakuwa about misconceptions of the man of God. Kuna vitu tunambiwanga which are not right. But again, sisi kama Christians who do not read their Bibles, we are being misled by these so-called men and women of God. Tunawapatia pesa zetu, tunawabudu kinda because um, tell me why um, beshte yako nakuja kwa wako kukuvisit, au chinji mbuzi Lakini when the man of God comes, una mbuzi yako, una, una make him the best meal. And yet, when your best friend, neighbor comes to visit you, you do not do the same. Tumoweka level our fai kuwa. So that being said, um, this will be the first episode of the man of God syndrome.